Now, some of you may already know this, but I've gone on record saying that Final Fantasy XV is the real deal. I had my doubts, and uh, it is the real deal. The real seal deal. However, as I played it more, I kind of realized there were some things that were rubbing me the wrong way. The game is really fun, but let's not forget that even really fun games have really dumb shit in them. So here are 15 things in 15 that really suck. You see what I did? I did the th uh, number one, combat. Now I know people like the combat in this game and they think, you know, it's the one undeniable positive side of the game, but I completely wholeheartedly disagree. Most of the time, combat is a fucking mess and you all know it. Don't fucking lie to yourselves anymore. Maybe I just suck at it. Maybe I'm awful, but half the time, I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. And the other half of the time, I'm just holding circle and beating the enemies easily with no effort. You don't really need to do half the stuff in your arsenal. You can just hold circle and heal yourself whenever you get knocked out if you have enough potions, which aren't very expensive, might I add. Kind of reminds me of another game people complained about a long time ago. I mean, yeah, people are right. When combat works, it's really, really fun, but it just doesn't work most of the time. I don't know. I just really like turn-based combat, and I kind of miss that being a thing. When did this become less beautiful than this? Number two, picking shit up is bound to the X button. Now, this wouldn't be a problem if X wasn't already being used. Most of the time when you try to pick things up, you're going to look like this. That's just, that's just foolish. I look foolish right now. Number three, Ignis and his bitch ass nagging. If you want to do anything that he doesn't want to do, he's going to let you hear about it. I won't stop you, but there's a thin line betwixt bravery and stupidity. Yeah, there's also a fine line betwixt helpful and annoying as shit. See these two? They know how to have fun. Ignis, mm -mm. No fun allowed. Four, you can't play as anybody else. Now I'm not gonna rail on content that obviously got cut or was from Final Fantasy Versus 13, because that's not fair. But you know what? Square did announce that there's gonna be DLC where you can play as the other guys. So why can't you just let me do that? Why can't you just let me be them now? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's content that's probably already finished. Not enough opportunities to cook. Why can't we just cook at every outpost? Cooking is like the one thing that's really fun and cute, and you can only do it at campsites. Most of the time, you're not gonna be at a campsite when you go to sleep, so you're gonna miss out on those bonuses and you have to go to like a restaurant or something else. I don't wanna go to a restaurant. Ignis spends all this time coming up with new recipes and you know, you get the ingredients and you're ready to cook most of the time and you don't really get a chance to. I just wanna eat more Chipotle with my bros. What the fuck does Gladiolus' survival skill do? Please leave a comment below if you know what it does because I actually want to know. Like, what what the fuck does it do? Why does it keep leveling up? Noctis forgets he can teleport. Oops, I fell into a hole. I can just teleport though, except I can't. I just need to get over this tiny fence. I can warp across fucking dimensions in combat, but I, I have to walk around the fences. The food isn't even real. It looks so good, like, all the time, and it makes me hungry. Fishing is whack. First of all, why does Noctis fish? Why is he the fisherman? It'd be one thing if the king was into fishing also, but they say at one point that he probably never touched a fishing pole in his goddamn life. So why is Noctis the fishing enthusiast? What happened that made him love fishing? And he loves it. He says that he likes fishing. Couldn't he have a more useful skill? Because you never have to fish. Let's get that clear. The other skills like photography and cooking are really important to the gameplay and the character development of the other guys, but there's only like one fishing subquest. It's whack. Stop putting fishing in games, please. I don't like it. No Gilgamesh boss fight. Gilgamesh would have been the sickest secret boss ever. And I genuinely thought he was gonna be in the game when I found out that this is a game where you hunt weapons and become the king of swords. But you can't face the guy in Final Fantasy games who hunts weapons. Like one of the 13 weapons he could just steal from you and you have to get it back from him. That would have been so sick. Whatever, missed opportunities. This game really doesn't want you to travel during nighttime. And it's enough having this asshole actively trying to prevent it, but when you push past him, then the game itself actively works against you in order to get you to stop adventuring at nighttime. If there weren't nighttime specific quests, this wouldn't be a problem. I would just go to fucking bed. 
but there are. I got places to be. I got shit to do. If the game wanted me to go to bed after the sun sets, then fine, just make me do that. Make the guys get tired, lower their stats, make them get hungry or something. Don't stop my car or kick me off my chocobo whenever Satan himself crawls out of hell in order to force a bedtime on me. Gladiolus never turns the pages in his book because he can't read. The plot couldn't give less of a fuck. Characters die off screen so much that you would think this is directed by the Coen brothers. Hey game, can I just have a normal plot or things happen like that I can see and I can react to them? You know, like in a normal fucking story. All right, well, let's go off the assumption that you go ahead and watch that movie that they made for you so you can kind of understand how things work. After you watch the movie, you like hate the Empire and the boys even say some really hateful shit about them, especially considering that they blew up their home and let demons run through their streets. Niflheim is kind of like the worst thing ever, yet they still hang out with Nifs like all the time and they act really civil when they're around them. There's like multiple missions where you have to work with them and there's not really a reason why you have to do it. Oh shit, that's one of the bad guys from the movie. I know, I saw I saw the movie. I, you can't trust that guy. You guys gotta be careful. I'd sooner not rely on him. Oh no, yeah, they don't trust him. Yeah, we shouldn't trust him. Wait, wait. No, stop hanging out with him. Stop hanging out with him. You just said you shouldn't be. What? What is he? There are just crazy leaps in logic that I've never seen in a normal messy story. It's just like they don't really give a shit. Like Gladiolus disappears for a whole chapter. Where did he go? What was he doing? Why did he leave? Yeah, it's not explained. It's never explained, he just goes away. There's a part in the game when you fight Titan and afterwards they're like, oh shit, we can either stay in this volcano and die or we can go on the enemy spaceship with that guy that we already said we don't trust like all the time. We said it like a million times. Oh, I guess they have no choice but to get on the spaceship with that guy. Oh, what's gonna happen next? How are they gonna get out of this one? What? What? What happened between then and now? What? Where's my car? Number 14. You can give chocobos inappropriate and lewd names. Disrespectful. Content from that one trailer that's like not even in the game at all. You know, this year I think we all learned a valuable lesson in like not trusting trailers that much. And I know I said I wasn't gonna rag on stuff from when the game was called Versus 13, and I'm still not. Talking about the first time they changed the name to 15. You remember that? Yeah, I was sick. Have you seen the trailer since then? Because we're gonna look at the shit that's not in the game. Keeping track, that was everything in the fucking trailer. I don't know about you guys, but I was among the few people who were following this game for the whole 10 years of pseudo development. This was the game that I wanted. This one right here. This looked like a game changer. It looked like the craziest and most ambitious game ever. People call this game ambitious and I just, I can't take that seriously. This would have been ambition. This looks insane. This looks so fun. This is just a really good Final Fantasy game. What I'm trying to say is that my final review score is now 9.75 out of 10. Disappointing and underwhelming. 